In this part, which is part two of creating the overlapping donut chart, we're going to start working on building the overlap. So far we have like these uh, donut slices here, which have a own circumference. So which is relative to depending on their value. So what I'm going to do now is continue on and I will make sure that this will be a specific plugin. So for this, I'm going to say here, after the options, I'm going to say plugins. And then I'm going to say in here, this is an array. I'm going to say here, overlap lapping slice or overlap slice maybe that's uh probably a more appropriate name let's grab this then what i want to do here say this then we say plugin block constant overlapping slice id will be equal to overlapping slice and then what we're going to do is we're going to say here before data sets draw and the reason why before is because once the data sets has been drawn you have an issue is basically you cannot overlap anymore so what we want to do is we want to reassign the position of our donut slice so it will overlap nicely before it's drawn of course so we're going to say here chart arcs and plugin options or plugins doesn't matter so what i'm going to do here i'm going to say a constant and in this constant we're going to say here this is ctx because this is an object destructuring if you don't understand object destruction check out my video understanding chart.js object destruction all right what we're going to do is and this is the most important part here is understanding here the inner and outer radius <coughs> sorry the inner and outer radius so what i'm going to do here say console log we're going to use a built-in functionality from chart.js which is basically chart dot get data set meta index zero you see here I'm using parentheses, not arrays. Why? This is a function. Then what I can do here is say dot data, data point zero. And if I save this, let's open up the developer tab. You get all the arc element slices showing us a lot of information here. What is important for me is basically the outer radius here and the inner radius here. These here defines the position and basically the inner radius is this part here for data set zero data set one it will be this one and for data set uh, number two is this is the inner radius the outer radius is the outer part of the border of the slice of there so as you can see here so that will mean that the outer radius is 300 plus here so you might be confused why 300 plus here if it is if if in canvas normally the upper part is the higher you go up it will be zero well because it will calculate based on this point here it's a quite technical uh, structure because they use your translate but don't worry about that we're not going to focus on that the most important from, from this is this 333 or 333 pixels is basically from here all the way down to this center point here so basically from the x or from the y 366 minus 306 uh, 333 goes up here that's basically how you can calculate it so what we need here is i'm going to say here outer radius and outer radius i'm just going to say a constant outer radius constant outer radius equals the this one here i will do another one for the inner radius we need them both or probably we'll need them both let's see and what i can do for now it's quite simple we could just say here my inner radius will have a new value or um, well we can say here the outer radius or inner radius so it will be a new value by saying inner radius whatever the inner radius is minus 10 pixels by doing that we should have uh, oh, let's see here constant variable and that is of course not allowed so let's say here if I do let minus 10 pixels in array minus 10 pixels all right interesting it doesn't really work so let's see what's going on hold on oh, of course sorry my bad make sure you don't use inner radius in here that's very confusing this is a constant that is fine you can just copy this we say the new inner radius will be whatever the inner radius is minus 110 um maybe that's too much let's say minus 10 and there you are all right so what is going on here right now is because this is a formula it starts to get slightly confused in things because of the animation it starts to run so what we're going to do here is 
let's see what we can how we can solve this nicely so let's just check what I'm going to do here the inner radius that will be that all right so this was slightly tricky for me however what we're going to do is basically we need this one and to give it a better visual it's like this but as you can see here because the animation or the uh, all these effects here it starts to run like that luckily this one here index zero doesn't have to have a adjustment of it but which one does is basically this slice here and that slice so let's start to work on that solve that one here so what i'm going to say here um we can say here first of all ctx.save to save all variables above and then what we're going to do is we're going to say here data dot data sets and i guess we should just do here comma data so we have access to this data object and then what i want to do in here we're going to say here for every for each so for each data set we're going to look through it we're going to say here data set comma index and then what i want to do here is basically adjust the outer radius or the inner radius of index one and two so that our calculation of this one here which is relative because of the animation will never change because that's very important so what i'm going to say in here is the following uh let's get our item here i guess we can just grab this one the inner radius put here an index on it depending on the index what i want to do is equals the inner radius inner uh, radius and then we will say this will be multiplied by or we can say a plus that will, that will, uh, what we're basically doing is the following we're going to get the index number and the first one will be index zero which is quite nice this one doesn't have any adjustment the one that we want to adjust is these two here so we're going to say here plus 10 multiplied by index and let's see what will happen if i save this there we are as you can see here it's starting to do something of course not everything that we want but it is starting to get shape here so what we can do now is probably also assign an outer radius let's say here the outer radius and this will be also the outer radius and this outer radius here as you can see here making it larger is probably not the smartest move what it would be more appropriate is probably to reduce the amount of uh, value so I'm going to say here minus and minus save refresh as you can see here now start to work but this is what I don't like I want to have the thickness of this one here so we can grab that thickness here nicely by saying the following constant and I will say here slice thickness and this slice thickness will basically calculate the difference between the outer radius minus inner radius very straightforward and I'm going to copy this, put it in here, slice thickness, save, refresh, all right. So now you say, well, are we going back to the original state? That is correct. However, I want to be on a half part. So what I want to do here, ignore that. I'm going to say, divide this by two. But before we do division, we prioritize the deduction first here. Save that, refresh. There we are. So now we're getting somewhere, but of course, we're not done yet next video we're going to have this nice hoover effect on it but we should have also proper text here 